A Swift Kick in the Ass, episode 108. All big changes start with a swift kick in the ass. Join the journey of lifelong friends, John Curran and Tom Stewart, as they make conventional thought. Bend over and take... Life is challenging and difficult. No one gets out alive. Time to suck it up, Buttercup. Get ready for a monster-sized boot. Aim to help you get traction on personal change and get living. I am John Curran, your host. Join me as I share my journey exploring the forces that motivate us to change and help us get through whatever life throws at us. A swift kick in the ass. Life on your terms. Welcome to another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass. This is your host, John Curran. And today's topic is, why are you looking here? The joke's in your hand. Well, if you're a man, you could relate to this. But you can also relate to this if you're a woman, because we're not talking about genitalia. We're not talking about that age-old joke about a man's penis and about how it's a joke. That's how I learned about this joke. I was in a restaurant up in the mountains of Colorado, and there was a sign hanging in front of the urinal that said, Why are you looking here? The joke's in your hand. I thought that was really funny. Uh, and you know, as a man, let's just face it, we're all critical of, uh, the guy, the gift that God gave us. Um, but the truth is, is that it really isn't a joke. It's, um, it's a part of who I am. It's part of what God gave me and it's helped me father three wonderful children and helped me create a life, uh, and created experiences in my life that are part of who I am. Um, I am happy with what God gave me. I could open this up to so many jokes, uh, but I won't. (laughs) Anyhow, life is a lot like this joke in that we have a lot of power that we simply don't acknowledge. We think of it as a burden. We may think of it as a joke. Um, We wish that we didn't have it. We wish life was different. But it is in your hand. Life is in your hands. And you might have the power but you're not acknowledging it. You're not using it. You don't see it as a power. You see it as a burden. And in that case, the joke is on you. How many of you have experienced something like this? A joke, the joke is on you moment. It's no fun. For me, I uh, experienced this recently as I started taking Taekwondo, Taekwondo with my son. He's 10 years old. He just became a black belt. And I've been watching him for three and a half years, thinking that the problems with my hands prevent me from doing this. I would love to do it, but I just can't. It will hurt my hands, blah, 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 blah. I come to find out it doesn't hurt my hands. It's making them stronger. I'm loving it. I'm learning how to defend myself. I'm spending time with my son. Everything I wanted to get out of doing this, it's happening for me. The joke is on me because I've been holding myself back thinking that I couldn't do it. Truth is, is that I could. And once I decided to just do it, man, changed my life. You know, this show is about life on your terms and living a life on your terms. 
we might not like all the terms that are handed to us. We might look at them as a joke or a burden or something negative. If we can't change it, we need to just let it go. If we need to learn how to deal with it and live with it, that's what we have to do. That's our story. That's our burden. That's our joke. But if we can get past that and, and embrace the joke and just laugh along with life at, at it, I think that's a healthier way, um, making room for it in our life, just accepting it um, if it's something that you don't like, moving on. Um, you know, why torture yourself? over something that you can't change. And if it's something that you think you want to do and you've been torturing yourself and you're thinking, I can't do that, do it, man. Make room for it. Make the time. Make it happen. See what happens. And if you find that it really is hurtful, that it isn't doing what you thought it would do, and you want to back out, back out. At least you've learned from the experience. And ask yourself this, you know, why are you torturing yourself for something that you're never going to do? You know, a lot of things keep coming back up in a person's life. Um, maybe a question or maybe something that they want to do. It just keeps on coming up. It's a recurring theme, recurring issue. Why do we continue to torture ourselves by not following that? That's life. That's, that's our gut. That's whatever it is, the powers that be, telling us we need to become aware of something. Listen. Take action. If you can't control it, just let it flow right on through you. Instead of hitting you and then reverberating you know, inside of you and wrecking your life. Take control of the situation. Um, you know, take action. Continue course. Or release. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. And you don't have to wait to do this. Just take a little bit of time. Because that's what life is really all about is how you spend your time. And when you practice something, it means that you're giving time to that. And the more practice, the more time you're devoting to something, the more it becomes part of your life. And if you want to change your life, start doing the things that you want to do. Like hiking. Um, I'm taking a hike up on the Appalachian Trail it's going to be an overnight trip uh, up in Pennsylvania. It's with, with one of my best friends. And I've never done it. I've never gone overnight hiking before. I'm traveling very light. And it's going to be about 20 miles, but just in two days. Um, for a guy in his 50s, it's going to be challenging. And I'm a little anxious about it. But it's going to be so much fun. And I just have to keep reminding myself, you got to put yourself out there. You just got to take it one step at a time and keep following the path. But it is up to us what path we stay on. And we can make this decision day in the day out, day in or day out, to either take action, you know, to, by changing course, continue on the same course, or just abandon it completely, let it go. If it's not your decision to make, why are you going to continue to torture yourself? Why are you going to continue to hold on to something that you have no control over? Surrender to it. Embrace the suck. Let it go. One of the things I've learned recently, um, which has helped me a lot, is just the importance of breathing. Breathing in. Breathing out. Taking a moment to recognize 
how you're breathing um, is very helpful. Um, and also, the serious seriousness level of your life. Um, you know, what you look at gets your focus. Um, and you can make a decision on whether to take action, continue course, or just abandon completely. Um, you determine the seriousness because it's your life. You can take it as serious or as not um, as you like. But where you question and where you put your energy, where you put your focus, you can make these things a decision. You know, um, and if you don't take it on, it's just going to continue to to live a life of its own. You know, it's going to continue to just go, go on without you. And if it impacts your life, maybe you need to figure out why. And see why it's see why it's impacting you when you can't really change it you can't do anything about it how are you going to make the best out of it you know um maybe you do need to take it as a joke maybe you need to just say you know what <laughs> you got me life i surrender to it there's nothing i can do about it but i'm going to make the best damn lemonade out of this lemon um you know, I saw a quote out there that said that man suffers only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun. And you know, this is an old quote when it says gods rather than God, because they were praying to multiple gods. But it still, you know, has an element of truth to it, uh, no matter what you're religious belief is if you take seriously if you take life too seriously it can come back and haunt you but you're the one that's taking it seriously you're the one making that decision so you're holding the joke in your hand and you don't think it's very funny you gotta live with that and it's all on you so, I'm going to close today's episode with another quote. And this one is from Joseph Campbell in the book Reflection, Reflections on the Art of Living, a Joseph Campbell companion. And the quote says, As you proceed through life, following your own path, birds will shit on you. Don't bother to brush it off. Getting a comedic view of your situation gives you spiritual distance. Having a sense of humor saves you. Now, I couldn't do my, uh, my, my old co-host, Tommy, uh, justice if I didn't at least mention him once during an episode but uh, when we were kids, we were out in front of my parents' house talking, and Tommy was leaning up against my, uh, my mom or my dad's car. You know, it was an old uh, Caprice Classic, I think. Had a had a big trunk, and he's leaning up against it, and this bird came along and, and took a shit and fell and hit him right on the arm. As we were talking, I remember it very clearly. It just hit his arm and splattered. It was so funny when it doesn't happen to you. He didn't think it was so funny. So remember, you know, humor is in the eye of the beholder. And um, Tommy learned how to laugh about that. Um, those things do happen. I think we even talked about it on the show uh, at, at one point. But, you know, bad things do happen to us. And it sucks. You got to embrace the suck. 
you have to just recognize sometimes that life is not to be not to be taken too you know as seriously as you might think it we all end up in the same place we're all going to end up with swift kicks in the ass but we just have to keep going and we end these swift kicks in the ass they define us they make us who we are and that's what life is all about because at the end when it comes it comes we can't have any, we don't have any control over it but we certainly have a lot more control than we believe we do it's up to us to look for it with that i'm going to leave you till the next episode this is john curran this is a swift kick in the ass keep kicking ass peace love you This marks the end of another episode of A Swift Kick in the Ass, placing it directly in the can. As much as I like to talk, even I have my limits, it's time to go. Catch me on the next show. For better or worse, whether you like us or not, please leave comments wherever you get your podcasts. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Visit our home on the interweb. I think you can leave me a voicemail there. You can also email me at john at a swift kick in the ass dot com. It's been my extreme pleasure. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you got your ass moving. Until then, until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace.